hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss one of the most uh, you can say it's one of the most important uh, interview question that is being asked in the c sharp uh, interview nowadays so uh, we are going to discuss the difference between uh, two two parameter which is a uh, ref parameter and second one is the out parameter so uh, basically uh, first let me write some basic codes to make you understand what is the basic difference and like what is the use of these two keywords and then i will tell you the three most important difference that your interviewer want to hear from you so if you are if you are able to tell him uh, these three differences he will be like more than happy to consider your answer okay so let me just uh, write one class and i will be writing two methods so in one method i will be using uh, your ref parameter and in the second one i will be using your out parameter okay so let me write that so using system okay and then let me write some class parameter okay so here what i'm going to write static void main okay okay so see uh the main main use case of this uh two parameter is so we, like as you might be knowing uh whenever we are writing some methods in the c sharp that method will have a single return type so what if if you want to get some more information from that method so you cannot have a multiple return type for that method so for that reason only we are using this two parameter ref or out okay so let me go out with the first method i'll be writing something called public static int and uh, let's do one thing let's uh, try to return the addition of two number from the first uh, method okay so that is what i have written the return type as integer okay so let's write something like add number okay so here what i can do is i'll be passing two numbers index comma int y okay now what i can do is i can write return x plus y so this is done this is uh implementation of your first method now what i will do is so i will do one more thing so uh, i'm citing this example for out keyword right so i'll be writing out and let me write some second method it will return you the multiplication so public static and multiply and then i will be writing this under rf okay so here also i will be passing two parameter x and y okay and then this is going to return you x into y okay come on now what you have to do is you have to call these two methods from the main method so let's call it okay but before this let me write the statement that we are going to test our parameter here okay and then what i will be doing is i will be writing one more console dot write line so this is just a separation between these two okay and then i'll be writing this one so this is your test of ref parameter okay so here what i will be doing is uh, i will be calling this method add okay and then uh, let's uh, store this uh, addition in one of the uh, number i mean one of the variable so let's say int sum is equal to this one and let's pass two parameter 10 comma 20 okay come on mm -hmm okay now uh i'll be using one more console dot write line to display the summation of it okay so what i can write here is the sum is and then plus sum okay so that is fine so what my uh, motto here is i'm going to test this method for two purpose addition and subtraction so since we cannot return subtraction here also so for that i will be using out keyword and here i am going to test uh, multiplication as well as uh, division so for that i'll be using ref keyword fine so um, let me call uh, this method as well multiply here 
ओके सो आई एन टी एम यू एल आइकन से फिजिकल टू लेट्स कॉल दिस मेथड मल्टीप्लाई एंड देन व्हाट आई कैन डू हेयर इज आई कैन पास समथिंग लाइक टेन कॉमा टू I can pass a tail comma two. So this is like basic structure of your class. So now you are good to go. So let's do one thing. What we can do here is, so the first thing, whenever you are using out keyword, you no need to initialize that variable. Okay. So what I can do here is, let's see. So if I want to have a difference here, right? I want to get the difference out of this method. So what I will be doing here is, I'll be uh, declaring one variable of integer type so let's say integer difference and what i said is you don't need to like initialize this uh, variable if you are uh, going to use the out keyword so just let it be difference then what you can do here is you can pass this as out and then diff okay now our purpose here is to get this diff so this diff is going to be calculated here and we are going to get the value back so you can write here out the data type which is integer and then you can you can have any value so let's say diff. Okay. now see what it is saying here is since you have already used out so you you need to initialize this okay so the out parameter must be assigned okay before the control lips this method so this is one of the difference uh, you just notice so this is out keyword right so what i need to do here is i need to write something like diff is equal to uh what i can do here is i can do x minus y okay so see uh this diff will have the uh difference of this x minus y and you are going to get this diff here so now what you can do here is the sum is this okay and then you can write one more statement which is going to print you the difference so the difference is di ff okay so you observe one thing so since we have used this uh diff as a out parameter so you are you don't need to like initialize it now let's go back to this method uh ref parameter so here what i will be doing is i will be getting some division out of it so multiplication it is fine it is going to it is going to return you 20 for division what we can do is let's declare one variable int div and then here is the difference so you cannot use this div directly here as a ref so let's see what it will say so ref di so it's going to throw you the error see what it is saying use of unassigned local variable div so you need to initialize this div okay before you can use it so that is not the case with the out parameter so let's initialize it with zero now the other main difference you can see here is so here it was asking you to like uh, in, uh, initialize that variable right def here so that is not the case with the ref so uh, one thing let me tell you this is the called method and this is the caller method okay so this out parameter is a unidirectional so you can only pass the value from the called method to the caller method but that's not the case with the ref parameter you can pass the value from the caller method to the called method and the vice versa so let's write here ref int and then division okay now if you see it is not throwing any issue here right so but in the case of out parameter if i can remove it it's going to throw you the error the out parameter must be assigned okay but it's not the case here so either you can assign it or you can you can leave it as it is okay so as of now you might have got two differences not two three differences rather now let's do one thing let's write div is equal to x by y okay so it's going to return you the div so this value is going to be uh it will be coming here and then you can use it here so let's write uh, one let's write to console here okay so i will be changing it so the multiplication is the multiply is i can use mul which is the return type of the method and the second thing is division right so division i can use here so the division is uh what is that div right 
and at the end i will be uh, using console.read line just to stop the console for us some time so that we can see our actual output okay let's run this code and see so it's it's not with this return type or anything like you, you can get any number of parameter i mean any number of out parameter you can use any number of out parameter or any number of rec parameter based on your requirement so the main motto is to achieve more than one return type in a c -sharp. so see uh, i'm testing out parameter the sum is 30 okay the difference is minus 10 because uh, your x value is lesser than the y so x minus y obviously 10 minus 20 is going to give you minus 10 then i'm testing the rec parameter the multiplication is 20 10 into 2 is 20 so this is what i'm passing 10 comma 2 right and then the division is 10 by 2 is 5 so this is what we'll be getting so this is what the main purpose of uh, using ref and out keyword so if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and we'll meet up in the next video thank you